Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Donya Backus. Artie Ojeda has the night off. A North County man is in critical condition tonight after crashing a small plane into a hangar. Officials say he somehow lost control while taking off this morning. The man was found lying on the ground next to the plane at the Fallbrook Air Park. Old and flimsy, wooden propellers and fabric wings, bigger than a hang glider, but still a hobby plane. Authorities say Stowe took off from Fallbrook Air Park this morning when he crashed into a hangar just 100 yards from the runway. We had multiple people here who were here working on their um, airplanes, and uh, one person, which was just a few hangars away, didn't even hear the accident, but heard somebody moaning. Fallbrook Airport and the San Rafael Airport are remarkably similar in the number of operations and the length of their runways. The geometry of the runway safety zones are identical. I have placed the buildings at Fallbrook and painted the hangar at which the plane crashed on March 4th blue. The location of the crash is in the sideline safety zone 5. The pilot lost control of his airplane immediately after becoming airborne and collided with the hangar 300 feet perpendicular to the runway. The significance is that State of California guidelines recommend prohibiting group recreation facilities in this safety zone. Next, I have superimposed the San Rafael Airport Sports Facility in the precise location relative to the Fallbrook runway as it is proposed in San Rafael. And here is the proposed allowable density of 336 people on the outdoor field. The plane that crashed at Fallbrook is among the lightest of airplanes, yet the clear span metal hangar sustained significant damage. Pieces of the plane were thrown into the hangar. The pilot was seriously injured. The aircraft at the San Rafael Airport range from small single-engine planes like the Aranca Champ, fast small sports planes, and a military trainer. This SUV carries far less fuel than all but the smallest of airplanes. A number of airplanes operating at San Rafael are far heavier, and there is little San Rafael can do to regulate that fleet. The city must analyze the impacts of an accident involving these larger airplanes. Here are 336 people arranged like chessmen on the field. In the real world, there is more likelihood that there will be 25 participants on the field and up to 311 spectators crowded along the sidelines. Here, we add the vehicles that brought the players and spectators. Note, the proposal calls for spectators in a confined indoor viewing area on a second floor mezzanine behind windows. If this plane did this to a hangar, what would this plane do to the San Rafael Airport Sports Facility?